Now, we saw N squared algorithm, how bad it can really perform when N is going bigger and bigger ratio. We are forced to think of better algorithms than N squared ratio. So let's go into the idea number one to see is there any inefficiency we can able to discover it up which can lead to the better solutions here. If you look at the idea one, we take the element one, we are comparing with what they call all forward elements now. That scan, that is where that comparison become very, very large and giving N square. Whenever this kind of a linear search you are doing it up, one of the key ideas we can always bring it up is sort. If I sort the array, does it really offer uh, you know any betterness? If you really observe it up, when I sort the array here, wherever a duplicate is available, they come they come up adjacent, uh, you know, they all comes up in a in a sequence now. When they come up a sequence, one scan through the array will exactly give us up with adjacent element comparison, what could be the duplicate? That's why. Let's adapt the sorting strategy here. Then we do, you know, adjacent checks uh, instead of doing up all these checks now, which we are doing in a solution one, might offer a betterness. But let's look at the idea first, then we analyze it up to see is it better than this or not. Let me write this as solution number two. Let me take the input again here. One, four, six, seven, eight, three, two, five, five. Let me sort this here. You get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now here, you got to find a duplicate. Now, I just compare adjacent elements now. I compare 1 with 2, it's not there. 2 with 3, not there. 3 with 4, no. Again, no. 5, 5. We got a match, written 5 as duplicate. That means sorting definitely really makes our life comfortable. But you got to spend that extra time also here. So this is what we call idea number 2. Since sorting is one of the, uh, you know, part of this total algorithm here and, and after sorting we are doing some specific work based on uh, what they call problem. So this, I don't call this pattern, instead I call it as a strategy called ad hoc. So here, the strategy is sort followed by scan. That's why let me label this as a sort plus scan strategy. And it is specific to the problem. It may not be a more generalizable thing here. Hence I'm using a name called ad hoc. Now, so this is what uh, solution now. How do we know that? Is it better th than previous one? We saw from previous videos, whenever you want to know when algorithm is good or bad, the only thing we need to do here is analyze. The dimensions, two dimensions, if you analyze, we can easily compare those, di those metrics now. We can conclude which is better. Let me do that. Without writing code, let me do theoretical analysis. What is time complexity? What is space complexity? Again, the, the core operation, low level operation and core operation. Here, first we are doing sorting in Asia. How much uh, time any sorting algorithm, best sorting algorithms available uh, for us will take it up. Till now, we haven't seen sorting problem. Later, we are going to discuss it up. Until that, we assume that as a black box, that will be, that will be a n log n shape. So sorting algorithm, the best sorting algorithm we are going to see later videos now. We'll take n log n comparisons here. Plus black box because still we don't we haven't discussed. But after sorting, what else we are doing here? On scan, we are doing here, we are comparing adjacent elements now. How many components required in the worst case? Always worst case is guaranteed performance. That's where. So this guy we are comparing, this guy we are comparing, this guy, except first element, we are doing what they call. Except the last element, we are doing what they call one, one comparison per element here. That means maximum we require n minus 1. Again, unit is the low level operation is CMP here. Comparison. Overall, the notation we know from again previous videos, how do we really express this? So definitely big O of n log n here. And here we can also write this as the theta. Now space complexity, to express this idea, sorting we can do without any extra space. Again, we'll see later videos, this idea of space complexity. Now, for doing this so-called adjacent checks now, we need just one uh, scan through that, maybe adjacent element with the constant variables, we can do that. That's why we write it as C units now. That's where we call this as big of one. That's why solution two, time complexity state of n log n, space is big of one. Now let's compare solution one and two n multiplied by n versus n multiplied by log n. So log n is a so small number for bigger and bigger values here. So in theory we can able to, uh, now we can say, we can conclude now that n log n algorithm definitely better than n square algorithm here. 
space wise there again both are constant uh, units of space here so that's why n log n is definitely good but how much good it is only when you really experience this n log n we get a more crystal clear clarity on so is n log n algorithm is acceptable for practical you know sizes of n uh, practical sizes n when it goes to millions hundreds of millions now will it be a scalable solution or not let's move on to the coding to experience n log n algorithm So now we got a solution number two, which is n log n algorithm here. Theoretically, it's doing better than n square algorithm here, but in practice, how good it is doing here? Let's experience this. Let me copy this. Find duplicate one here. Prototype. I just name this as find duplicate two. End of this. Now, what is the uh, you know the step step one is you need to sort it. So it's list in a way here. I just call it as sort. to sort this one shape then one scan is enough here all i just had to do here is for i in range of so we start from one element we look back in a way here i give 1 to what they call n n will be initialized to sorry so let me initialize n equal to len of i n p i n p now let's go to the 1 to n what i am doing here if inp of i is double equal to inp of i minus 1 we got a duplicate now return that return inp of i end of this if nowhere this is available return a special value like min value so that's what we call it as solution number 2 first is sort followed by one scan here but how would it is going to perform here first let me check the correctness here let me change find duplicate 1 to 2 and i'll display this in the correctness level go to run configuration for file first we'll test for 10 elements now run now you can see 9 configuration for file again let's give 100 elements now run you can see 1 to 99 here 99 is repeated now it's working all you got to do here is some boundary cases you might need to test it but now let's do the performance testing here so let me comment this print statement here let me run this with what do you call a bigger values now 100 1000 10000 1 lakh See one lag. How good it is doing? Zero point zero one five. It's a very fast compared to previous algorithm here. Let me write this here. So a timings of this here. So hash. I'm writing here. This is for one lag. So one lag. We take up zero point zero one five seconds. Zero point zero one five seconds. All the units in seconds. Let me try for little more bigger valuation. Run configuration for file. 1 lakh we make it as 10 lakh a million run so let me write here 1 million 1 million the time is 0.173 0.173 let's try for 10 million let's give comment a space go to run configuration file now let me give 10 million So run here. Let's see, ten million. How well this is going to perform? Ten million. You can see zero one point three seven three. One point three seven three. Let's try hundred million. Go to run. Configuration for file. Hundred million. Run. So, algorithm still running here. So, hundred million log hundred million. So that's how the, we can estimate overall. You know the timing it might take it out. It's taking considerable amount of time here for what they call hundred million here. So now we got it up thirteen seconds approximately here. Let me write a comment. So hundred million. 
so it is taking up 13 point what do you call 306 so this is not acceptable shear so even for 10 million so it's taking beyond one second shear so that's why so we want to look for better algorithms now is there any better algorithms than n log n we can able to bring it up for this problem let's discuss those ideas now and if possible we'll experience them